Please welcome to the keynote stage Filecoin Foundation co-founding officers Megan Kleiman and Clara Sal. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here for this first real life get together of the Filecoin community. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, huge round of applause for that, right? <laughs> Okay, so like Rachel said, I'm Megan Clemen. Uh, I'm a co-founding officer of the Filecoin Foundation. Uh, and looking around this room today, I see so many incredible members of our Filecoin community. I see developers who are the ones building on Filecoin, making everything work. I see storage providers who are here to talk to each other, to interact with the notaries. Uh, I see some people, I think, from the Crypto Econ Lab, from, uh, from Starboard, the people who put together our amazing dashboards that make, let us all make informed decisions about how to build up this community. I see investors, I see members of the media, I see members of the Filecoin, IPFS, LibP2P community. Like, this is an incredible group of humans, right? Um, and. Before we get started, I want to like take a minute to talk about what we're doing here and really understand the Filecoin community. Uh, so first, if you're one of those thousands of people who are helping build Filecoin, could you stand up for a minute so we can see you, give you all a round of applause? Yeah, yeah. So I'm working on the clicker here. What am I doing wrong? There we go, there we go. Okay. So IPFS and Filecoin are changing how the internet is built. Ooh, the clicker's off. If we can only build slide clickers on IPFS or Filecoin, then I think we'd really have a technological breakthrough. So IPFS lets you create an immutable reference to your content, regardless of where your content lives. And Filecoin is this perfect complement to IPFS as a highly resilient decentralized storage network aimed at storing internet scale data for hyper competitive prices. Together, IPFS and Filecoin are laying the groundwork for Web3. And it's the only storage network that is built to scale with the metaverse. Hmm? There we go. So I'm going to share a few of our programming highlights from today and things that you can look forward to in the rest of the week. Check out the screens around you for more details, and make sure to bookmark our calendar. You can use this QR code to get the full calendar of events that are happening. Today, we're going to hear from an incredible lineup of crypto thought leaders and Filecoin entrepreneurs and builders across two stages. So from NFTs to the metaverse to actual outer space, we're going to be discussing how the Filecoin network provides the infrastructure to build a resilient and decentralized web. We're here from Protocol Labs founder and CEO, Juan Bennett, on what's next for the Filecoin network. And don't miss our metaverse experience. Later this afternoon, we're going to host a book signing by Kevin Owaki. Uh, and definitely stay with us through this evening. We're going we're to have DJ Poolside playing here starting at 5.30. Later tonight, we also have the debut, the debut screening uh, of um, Never Forget This, which is a six-part interactive docu-series powered by IPFS and Filecoin, telling the stories of creators shaping NFT culture. And starting tomorrow, the Filecoin Foundation is playing host to Consensus's NFT gallery, which Rachel was mentioning earlier. This is a space where you can dive into the future of art, community, and commerce on the blockchain. On Friday, be sure to check out the Filecoin Foundation Track at Consensus. It's a super packed 90 minutes of highlights from across the Filecoin ecosystem, 
with updates from storage providers, developers, and storage clients. But before we get into this amazing programming for today, uh, let me turn it over to Filecoin Foundation, uh, my co-founding officer and partner in crime, Clara Sow, to tell you more about the foundation, our work, and how we're supporting the Filecoin ecosystem. Thank you so much, Megan. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Clara, like Megan said, I'm the other half of the Filecoin Foundation, and we are so excited to be here today and also to lead our work as the steward of the Filecoin community. So what exactly is the Filecoin Foundation? Some of you guys may be familiar with Crypto Foundation, some of you guys are newer to the crypto space, but we really are here to help people bring together the vision of Filecoin and to really support the growth of the ecosystem and the distributed web. And we promise to provide not only resources, guidance, um, and also grants for fair and equitable principles to help the ecosystem flourish, but we also strive to make the internet more open, stronger, more reliable, and more resilient against, um, not against uh, and for everyone, not just so that a few giants that we know of today can thrive. As many of you guys already know, our mission is to build the internet of everyone, and we can't do that without all of you guys in this room. Today, the foundation is around 50 people um, as full-time staff, and we also have so many contributors, thousands from all around the world. Some of you guys are in this room today, some of you guys are tuning in remotely. We're one of many groups in the Filecoin ecosystem working to make Filecoin the go-to resource and the go-to tool for the decentralized storage market. And not just in the world, but also in the universe. Why the universe? Well, we'll get to it shortly. So, um, that's right, actually, just last week, we announced that we are working with Lockheed Martin to put IPFS to space. And you'll actually hear later today from Filecoin Foundation Board Chair Marta Belcher around exactly this initiative. Um, you could see here it's from 230 to 250, so don't miss that. Now before we dive into our first session on NFTs, you guys may have seen NFTs all around this space, let's take a moment to think about what we've accomplished since October 2020, and that's when our testnet launch went live. So today we have so many large scale programs um, to support new app developers, uh, on our ecosystem. In fact, we have over 10,000 active developers uh, that are engaging with us through hackathons, awarding over 230 developer grants in just the tw last 12 months alone. We have some of our legal team here who have had to process those grants. You can just imagine the volume <laughs> of 230 grants. Um, we're also seeing huge developer uh, traction through GitHub contributors, forks, and other developer metrics. And in fact, Filecoin is actually one of the top five most actively developed blockchain protocols in all of Web3, which is just so amazing of how active all of you guys are. Um, additionally, thanks to a number of partner accelerators, we're helping teams uh, graduate into not only hackathon projects, but also viable and high impact businesses. We've graduated so many teams in 2021 and are set to graduate over 100 teams uh, through the end of 2022. Um, so what are people building on Falcon? What are these examples? Well, you can see up here, um, we have apps like Audius. It's a decentralized streaming platform built for musicians. So if there are some music fans in this room, um, you can listen to music on the decentralized web. And Audius actually just landed a huge deal with TikTok to let artists upload their music to TikTok to be used in videos using our technology. So if you're a TikTok fan, you're also using Filecoin. We also have apps like Huddle, which is a decentralized conference tool, really important in the age of the pandemic that we're living in, uh, that only also helps people access video conferencing in rural areas that don't have strong connectivity. We also have projects like Numbers Protocol, which is building a decentralized photo storage uh, application that gives unique content identifiers to each photo. And this actually allows for guarding against issues like content manipulation on, on photos, especially when we have issues like deep fake happening in the Web2 media today. Finally, we have applications like Slate, which is an incredibly easy to use application that makes storing 
uh, data on Filecoin as easy as experiences you may have used from Google Drive to Dropbox. We, uh, we make it really easy with Slate to upload all of your, your decentralized data onto Filecoin as a consumer. And also we have Secure Finance. They're here in the room today. You'll hear from them later on. But they are an inter interbank grade financial transaction platform that does automatic collateral management and market to market mechanisms. And so there are so many different use cases for our technology. Um, we are so excited to hear from everyone. And finally, one really exciting announcement I know all of you guys have been anticipating in this room is the launch of the Filecoin virtual machine, which is on track to come on later this year, uh, where we can bring to life decentralized storage with smart contract capability. So Filecoin virtual machine unlocks all kinds of capabilities for building on Filecoin, from programmatical storage primitives, to cross-chain interoperability, to other protocols um, and bridging to Ethereum, Solana, and Near. And if you guys stick around later today, you actually will hear from Juan Benet and also Nier's Ilium, um, Ilya around a conversation around some of these capabilities and building on Web3. And finally, um, today we just ended a day, a full day yesterday with our incredible storage provider community. We had around 130, 140 storage providers come in from all around the world. Um, who are, and, and in total, we have over 4,000 storage providers uh, that are contributing to our storage capacity on our network. In fact, storage capacity has grown to 17 exabytes um, right now, and that is around 1% of total cloud storage capacity globally. That's huge. For context, that's large enough to store 4 billion movies, 1,600 Netflix movie archives, or 6, 65,000 copies of Wikipedia. So our motto is storing humanity's most important information. We're definitely on track to really get there. And today, the network actually holds 84 petabytes of data and is um, on track to host more than 3.4 million deals and, and growing. And that's just a sneak peek of all the ecosystem updates that we'll be diving into today and also throughout the rest of Phil Austin and Consensus. Now I'm going to turn it back to Megan. Okay. Gotten the clicker to work. So I know we've just thrown a whole bunch of numbers at you, but a couple more numbers. Um, thinking about what are people actually storing on Filecoin? Well, right now, there's over 66 million NFTs stored on IPFS and Filecoin, thanks to NFT storage. You can hear more about that from uh, Jonathan Victor, who's going to be talking in our next session. And others like Curio, OpenSea, and the Convo space are using Filecoin as their back-end NFT storage. We have other amazing stories happening as well, beyond just NFTs. Oh, there we go. Uh, later this afternoon, you're going to hear from Jonathan Doten, founder and executive director of the Starling Lab. Jonathan is on the front lines of the efforts to preserve vital records to tell some of the difficult stories in the name of advancing human rights. He and his team are transitioning the USC Shoah Foundation's trove of more than 55,000 genocide survivor testimonials on the distributed, onto the Filecoin uh, under the distributed Filecoin network for safekeeping. And now uh, they're working on another incredibly critical project, one that's really uh, near and dear, I think, to both of our hearts, um, where they're documenting and capturing and storing in a verifiable way uh, evidence of war crimes in Ukraine. We have governments getting in on the Filecoin action also. Uh, this past winter, the Filecoin Foundation announced that we're working with Protocol Labs to store and maintain New York City's open data on the decentralized web for the next five years. This project allows New York City, at no cost, to explore decentralized storage, um, to explore this technology and how it can be used by the city as an asset to improve government operations. And New York City's former CTO, John Paul Farmer, uh, who led this work on behalf of the city, is going to be here today to tell you a little bit more about that project. We're also working with the team at the Internet Archive and Protocol Labs to onboard massive data sets from the end of the 2016 U.S. presidential term. 
Uh, we're putting these onto the Filecoin network to enable researchers and public interest groups to analyze the data after the change in administration. We're also starting to see a lot of interest in decentralized technology and content addressing. Uh, for an efficient and easily transferable storage method uh, to use assets, especially in the metaverse. So as the metaverse is growing and expanding, Filecoin is growing and expanding with it. Filecoin is the only storage network that was actually built to scale with the metaverse. Storage needs are growing really dramatically with this exponential growth of AR and VR, uh, gaming and the metaverse. And they require a system of storage that's capable of handling data sets that are both small and large. And Filecoin is really the best solution for this. Uh, with clients, stored data, community members, and storage providers growing every day, our governance team is building industry-leading infrastructure that will allow the entire Filecoin ecosystem to scale in a truly decentralized way. To date, Hundreds of protocol changes have been proposed and debated by the community. More than 30 of these have become Filecoin Improvement Proposals, or FIPS. These FIPS are developed openly and collaboratively, allowing anyone in the Filecoin community to participate in the design and acceptance of our core protocol changes. And these aren't just simple changes. Many of these proposals are for technologies on the cutting edge of Web3, from novel zero-knowledge proofs uh, to the creation and de deployment of the Filecoin virtual machine. These are not just technological innovations that we've made. These are things that we've come together as a community and decided to implement. And that's pretty amazing. Uh, everyone here should check out Caitlin Beagle's talk today at 1.15 on the cafe stage talking about Web3 governance. Another project that's really near and dear to my heart uh, is that we're really committed to building networks that are strong, secure, and sustainable. Filecoin war really is committed to being at the forefront of the change to make blockchain technology truly sustainable. Filecoin Green is seeking to make the blockchain carbon neutral and in time carbon negative. And more importantly than this just being a methodology that can be used on Filecoin itself, this is a methodology that we can apply to other blockchains to really make the entire industry uh, more green. So we're really excited about that and would love everybody to hear more about it uh, at 425 on the cafe stage with Mark Johnson, and I'm going to butcher Oriando's name, Oriando Aedioli, I don't know. Um, and with that, I'm going to kick it back to Clara. Wonderful. So as you've heard from Megan, we've accomplished a lot as a community the last 18 months since May that launch. And we can't wait for more, even more exciting work ahead. We're just getting started. And so we can't wait to hear throughout today what you're working on, what you need to get where you want to be, how you're leveraging decentralized storage, and also what you need from us. We are here to help. We also have a ton of other conferences coming up later this year, from Singapore to Toronto to uh, Lisbon. And so you, we can't wait to check in with all of you guys throughout the rest of this year to see how things are going. Thanks again for being, being with us this week. We know it's hot. We know there's a lot of other events going on. But we are so excited you're here with us. And we are so excited to be here making history with all of you. And now I'm going to turn it back to Rachel, our wonderful MC, to take back the floor and share what's happening in the next session. Woo. Rachel. Yeah.